Civil engineering is one of several prominent career fields for engineers. It is a discipline that encompasses the fields of design and construction of physically built structures, such as bridges, roads, dams, canals, and huge residential and commercial buildings. It is obviously possible that there are much more constructions and designs in future, leading away to the rise of civil engineering. Civil engineers earn a high pay and play an important role in the community development. However, high pressure projects are common and some civil engineers work over 40 hours a week. If you are planning to become a civil engineer, you should know what are the pros and cons of this field. Here in this video, we are providing a major pros and cons of being a civil engineer. Let's begin with the pros of being a civil engineer. Positive aspects of job. There are numerous positive aspects of a job in civil engineering. First and foremost, civil engineers and engineers in general will always be in high demand. Society will always be expanding and demand for the construction of dams, bridges, buildings, etc. will be infinite and because of this, engineers generally easily find work when they leave college. However, career opportunities depends on the competition among civil engineers in that particular country. Excellent pay potential. Engineering is an above average employment sector and civil engineers certainly hold their own among peers. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, civil engineers earn a median salary of $83,540 in 2016. If you want to know more about highest paying countries, check our video on top 10 highest paying countries for civil engineers. Link for the video is provided in the description. Wide range. Because of the wide range of the civil engineering field, there are a number of specialized areas where one can focus based on personal interest. The main areas of focus for civil engineers include structural engineering, construction, geotechnical engineering, water resources, and transportation. Civil engineers also often hold supervisory and administrative positions, and still others might choose to work in design, teaching, or research. Macroscopic views. In the civil engineering field, engineers have the opportunity to work in a macroscopic view. While many other engineers, such as chemical engineers and biological engineers, work on nearly invisible microscopic scales, civil engineers work with large structures and apply mm -hmm. the laws of physics. Traveling opportunities. You will get opportunity to work on different sites and travel new places. Much of their work time is spent outdoors at work sites where they monitor buildings and projects and resolve project issues, such as project engineers and project managers who, who work remotely on site. The nature of the work keeps civil engineers active and on the move. It is also dynamic which means each project has its own distinct design challenges and operational issues. Engineers also get to work closely with contractors, architects, electrical engineers, and construction workers, the people who actually build the structure. Creativity. Engineers have the unique ability to combine strong technical competence with creative designing. They need to know the ins and outs of building construction, including electrical and plumbing systems and functional workings. However, engineers often love the challenge of making plans that balance functional value with aesthetic appeal. In communities that emphasize contemporary design structure, engineers often renovate or rebuild more creative mm -hmm. structures where older, more traditional structures once stood. This is common to see when driving around your local standard residential neighborhoods in the United States. Importance. 
Civil engineers are central figures in community development. Without their unique talents, communities will not grow and prosper. Buildings and roads provide the basis of city infrastructure. Engineers not only provide them, but they use their skills to optimize performance and efficiency of community systems. They also develop water and sewer systems that balance safety standards with delivery of water and sewer processing, which are key functions in city operation and residents' health and comfort. Respected profession. It is a well-respected profession. Civil engineers are considered an important part of the community, and without them, progress of community and general functions such as sewer, road pavement, standard ways of travel is impossible. Now I'd like to talk about the cons of being a civil engineer, which those of us who are civil engineers and are in the industry know there are none, but I digress. At the initial part of your career, you will have to work very hard on, on both field and off field extreme pressure. With great importance comes significant job pressure. The buildings and projects you head up as a civil engineer are sometimes massive in scope and budget. Significant failures can lead to significant losses for your company or a raise in the company's insurance premiums. Faulty engineering can also lead to calamities in communities from building degradation, road and bridge problems and water system malfunctions. Problems with your work can hurt your employer's reputation or your own. There are a lot of costs and risks involved with the job. Hence, there is a lot of pressure as liability can be high on errors. Work environment and hours. It will not be a tie and suit job working day in and out in a well-furnished office. Most of the time you will be seen in field wearing a hard hat helmet unless and until you are a designer. Civil engineers sometimes work a typical full-time week. However, one-fourth of all civil engineers work more than 40 hours a week. Additionally, it is typical that you would spend a good amount of time on the road or remote areas. You spend some of the week in your office planning. Other work time is spent on site communicating with construction workers, overseeing projects, and monitoring progress. Increased scrutiny. Because a significant number of projects are government funded or government run, Civil engineers must work under increased scrutiny of reviewers and auditors overseeing government spending. This type of review can increase job stress as an engineer has to regularly explain his thinking and decision making under criticism of a regulatory third party. Oftentimes, these are our best friends known as inspectors. High rate of work accidents. The construction industry has a high rate of work accidents and a poor reputation for coping with problems, with many projects failing to meet deadlines, cost, and quality targets. Once again, I'm Reed Salen out of Southern California narrating this video, and thank you very much for watching this video. Please share your views on this video in the comments section, and don't forget to give a like and subscribe to our channel.